Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you've been doing well. We finally reached the end of 2023 and might I say that it feels as if the year just flew by, right? And I know we probably say that for almost every year, but we're, we've reached the end of 2023 and I thought that it would be great to highlight some moments uh, that I thought were very fun and interesting this year and um, I wanted to share that with you. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the great fun I had at the 44th annual Detroit Jazz Festival. Before we get into this vlog, I wanted to let you know that I'm Crystal Thomas, a classical concert pianist, and on this channel, I share performances, practice strategies, and we just have a great time discussing classical music and music in general. So if you like that type of content, I encourage you to subscribe and to turn on the notifications so that you know when I upload another video. September in Detroit means jazz, and that's because that is when the annual Detroit Jazz Festival takes place. And so the Detroit Jazz Festival is the largest free jazz festival in the world, and uh, might I say it's the best jazz festival in the world. It was an absolute treat and definitely one of the concerts that I enjoyed attending the most this year. I mean, it's seriously a vibe. First of all, being in downtown Detroit is always a good time. I mean, you're hanging out, meeting new people, and listening to good music. I mean, what more can you ask for? And actually, good music is an understatement. I should say that the performances were amazing, phenomenal. The Detroit Jazz Festival covered the span of four days, so from September 1st to the 4th, and there were a plethora of performances that you could attend across three different stages in downtown Detroit. The lineup included, you know, more than 60 performances and spontaneous late night jam sessions. Uh, and by the end of the weekend, it was actually reported that more than 300,000 people attended in person and about 1.5 million tuned in virtually. And again, there were many awesome performances to check out. I wish I could have attended them all. But since I wasn't able to attend them all, I did want to take the time to highlight two of my favorite performances that I was able to attend. The first performance that I want to highlight is, of course, as a pianist, I absolutely had to check out Johnny O'Neill and Sullivan Fortner's tribute to Detroit Piano Masters. They performed on Sunday, September 3rd at Campus Marshes, and it was an absolute treat. I had a blast. As we see in their bios, Johnny O'Neill is a Detroit native who considers himself a piano player first, but was encouraged to sing more in his sets by blues great Joe Williams, and his playing evokes influences from greats such as Oscar Peterson, Art Tatum, and Barry Harris, and he has reshaped these elements into his own very swinging and melodic approach. Sullivan Fortner is a very talented pianist, composer, and band leader. He is a Grammy award-winning artist out of New Orleans who has received international praise. And whether it's playing solo or leading an orchestra, Fortner engages harmony and rhythmic ideas through curiosity and clarity. Also, a huge shout out goes to Miss Marion Hayden, who was fantastic on the acoustic bass. Miss Hayden performs extensively and is a co-founder of the Turing Jazz Ensemble Straight Ahead, which is the first all-women jazz ensemble signed to Atlantic Records. She is a member of the Detroit International Jazz Festival All-Star Ambassadors Turing Ensemble, and I thoroughly enjoy listening to her improvisations and wide-ranging versatility in the band. What's even more exciting is I had the chance to meet drummer extraordinaire Mr. Kayvon Gordon, who was also performing in the tribute to Detroit Piano Masters. Mr. Gordon was also born and raised in Detroit. He has performed internationally and he seeks to contribute to the forward thinking aesthetic of his contemporaries while honoring the rich musical legacy of Detroit. Mr. Gordon did a phenomenal job serving as the backbone to the band, providing rhythm and a magnetic energy that drove the music forward.
So I thoroughly enjoyed the sound and the feel of the music. Our toes were tapping and there was nothing but smiles as we traveled through the music, um, the music lineup for the tribute to Detroit Piano Masters. And so I'm looking forward to all of the future projects from everyone that performed in that set. Now, before we move to the second highlight from the Jazz Festival, I do wanna let you in on a little secret. Um, you might want to bring a lawn chair. Now, I did forget my lawn chair for the previous performance, but as you see, on the following day, I came prepared. And you also wanna get there early to ensure that you get a good spot. Now, as you can see, we reached the last day. It is September 4th of the Jazz Festival and I came prepared, ready to rock and roll with my lawn chair. I had my water, ready to go. And since we were at the final day of the Jazz Festival, what better way to close it out than with a bang by attending the performance of Samara Joy. And if you are not familiar with Samara Joy, you need to get out from being underneath a rock. Miss Samara Joy is an American jazz singer and she released her self-titled debut album in 2021 and was subsequently named Best New Artist by Jazz Times. And her second album, which was released in 2022, won her the award for Best Jazz Vocal Album as well as Best New Artist at the 2023 Grammy Awards. Like I said, she was absolutely phenomenal. She had a great vocal range, a variety of textures and dynamics and vocal control. It was it was absolutely musical and I loved every single minute of her performance. So I highly, highly recommend that you all check out Samara Joy's discography. It's absolutely amazing. You'll enjoy it and it'll be a nice addition to your jazz collection. I want to say thank you to all of the musicians, supporters, organizers that made the Detroit Jazz Festival possible. Like I said, it happens every year. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever been to the Detroit Jazz Festival or if you plan to go next year. Um, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and allowing me to share my experience at the Detroit Jazz Festival this year. Feel free to subscribe because I will be posting two more highlights from 2023 so that we can close out the year with a celebration. Mm -hmm.